Hi, it's Neil again. We're at the Motto Smartwatch manufacturer and we're very happy to have Johnson with us today to show us through the factory so you, the buyer, can actually see what the factory is like and the actual factory, the processes, the quality control systems have in place, all of the right systems have in place to make sure that you get a product that is quality and that fits the compliance standards that you have to comply with in your country. This is Motto Smartphone Manufacturing and what you're about to see is some of their production line in what they're making today. This is on Tuesday morning actually in November. So we actually want to show you some parts of the production line because they have a really good production setup and they've learnt a lot from their partnership with Sharp because they do OEM with Sharp and so that actually gives buyers a lot more confidence in understanding the quality processes in this factory. And so what we've got here is their production line. So we don't have anyone working on this line at the moment and we'll actually show this later. But what I can just point out to some of the different parts. So at any point in time, they've got full quality control and documentation of the various procedures that the workers have to go through. And we're, get, we're actually going backwards on this. But what is interesting too is they've got the alcohol and the different parts to put on the smartwatch when they do that. And what's important here is that the protective cover is already on the screen top that actually is put on the face of the smartwatch. We've got the drills and everything. What's another thing that we notice with this production line as I take you through because we don't have workers here, but just want to, another point I want to make is that they are using these anti-static bands and this is an anti-static band that you wear it here and you don't need to have a line to unearth for the worker and so this is much more comfortable for workers to use and so this is very important. When you see the production line you'll see that all of those workers that are working with the insides of the watch have anti-static bands on and that's very important for the quality controls that they have in place. So just want to show you some of the different parts of the production line and if we go up here We've got a quality testing unit here where different parts of the smartwatches are tested and then they'll run through the various software to make sure that the actual software in the smartwatch is working as it should be worked. And so we can go all around the production line. Generally the production line starts here and this is where a lot of the soldering takes place and a lot of parts are put together. And so it's very important that uh, you've got temperature controlled soldering irons, it's very important. They also have fans and so for the protection of the workers sometimes you may want to have an exhaust fan that is actually taking some of, of the fumes away but at least they have a fan here that actually blows that away from the worker and keeps the workers comfortable and that's very important for the corporate social responsibility which has become increasingly important for factories in China. So again we've got more soldering going on here and we've got little parts here that are soldered on individually so it's very manually soldered it's a very manual process that we see that's going on here I'm not going to touch that because I don't have an anti-static band on <laughs> so we won't do that and so we've got various testing going on here and this is basically charging or actually this is plugged in to do testing or charging Johnson this is charging more charging okay yes. so you're charging oh, and it's connected to the battery. Yeah, battery and so it will be plugged in here for it's just to just do a basic minimum charge is it uh, yes basic basic minimum yes. charge about 10 20 percent just enough for the quality control later on uh, okay but and when it's shipped and it put into the shop it's got that minimum charge for the customer to see yes. and then they take it home to do the full charge yes. all right so just we make a note that the it's a 400 milliamp hour battery which is actually quite large for a smartwatch like that's a small that's a smaller battery than the other smart watch manufacturer we went to they had a 380 milliamp but the battery is actually larger so this must be a high quality from but was this did this come through from sharp 
or is it from another Chinese supplier? Uh, from Shenzhen, another, uh, factory. another factory. Okay, yeah, but battery is always a critical part of a lot of consumer electronics. Yes. Okay, so this is where the battery is charged, and so notice that they've all plugged in here, and this is kind of like a bottleneck operation, Johnson. Like, this is really holding up the production because you can see lots of inventory here. Because the throughput, you know, the throughput, you want throughput. And, and of course it's holding up because it takes time for the battery to put that charge in. Yeah. Yeah. So actually when I teach my students, when we're talking about theory of constraints, we look at a production line, we're looking for parts where there is some build-up of inventory. And that's areas where if we wanted to produce the line faster, we need to address maybe this area, and then the production line can go faster. But of course, it's already pretty fast enough anyway. You don't want to go too fast, otherwise the quality goes down. So, but I guess at any one time, you're going to have one, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So they're charging up 60 at a time. And so you think about your throughput per hour is 100 per hour, 100, 200 per hour? Probably 200 per hour, something like that? 500. 500 per hour. Okay, so the throughput, 500 per hour, you've got 60 here, and so you can do the math in order, you see you've got a buffer here. More charging. No, but they're not plugged in. Uh, they already fully charged. That's ah, so creating inventory. Yeah, ah, so so, so what we've got is we've got some inventory in here of battery of actually batteries attached to units that have been charged, right? Yes. So this is a critical part yeah, yeah. that uh, you know to get that throughput through because it's the slowest part of the process, and you can't speed that up. Mia, you know you speed it up by actually creating more charging points. You can't because you can't make people make it charge faster. It only charges at a certain time. But uh, okay, so okay, now we've got the external housing, and probably once we get down to here, it's probably better that someone has a plastic have gloves for actually putting this onto the front of the watch. Yes, so that's interesting. And as I said earlier, the protective cover is already on the screen that goes on the smartwatch here. And so as we go down to here, and then we finished. So that basically finishes our tour of the factory. And so thank you very much. This is Neil at Motto. They're making uh, 500 per hour on this production line. They've got so many different products for sale. Uh, they go on online, offline. You see them at the trade show. So we've visited the factory to see what's working and what's not. And they're always looking for improvement because they're working with a top Japanese manufacturer through their OEM work and that actually gives them a lot of opportunities for learning and quality control and things like that which are very, very important for international buyers. So thank you for that and catch you in the next factory.